let me ask you a question. Are we under the law? The Old Testament law. I believe it is called the law of Moses. Are we under that? Okay. Look at the Old Testament law. Now, I believe we are under rules, but look at the Old Testament law and see if we are doing it. Are we sacrificing animals because of sin? I don't think so. Or I think we are not supposed to if you are doing that. Are we killing homosexuals? I don't think so. Or you should not be doing that. Are we killing people that are fornicating and committing adultery? I don't think so. Or you are not supposed to be doing that. So if you aren't doing those things, aren't you breaking the law? I believe so, right? Okay, if we aren't under the law, why do I believe some people teach tithing? If you read in the Old Testament and read about tithing, I think you will find out that the way I believe it is done now is not the same way it was done in the Old Testament. So if it is not the same, then aren't you breaking the law? I think if you are going to teach we are under the Old Testament law, I believe you should try to do everything right, right? If I tell you you are under, let's say, 1,000 laws, don't you have to do all of it? Like, I can't pick and choose. I want to pick law number 3 and 10 and 20 and that's it. No, I believe you have to do all of it, right? I believe so. And you may ask me, what is your point? Okay. I think there are so many poor people in this world. I believe there are many poor widows, many poor uh, children, orphans, or whatever else. Maybe I should say, instead of orphans, maybe I should say probably children. Well, let me say it in this way. I believe there are many poor people in this world. Please help me understand something, okay? I have nothing against giving to a church. Okay. If your pastor got two, three cars, two or three cars, a nice home, taking a large salary or whatever from church. If, if the pastor is rich, well off or whatever else, okay, that person has money, right? Won't your money do more good by giving to someone in need? Kevin, I don't want to give to a poor person because I think most poor people are manipulators. They may use the money for drugs and stuff like that. Okay, take them shopping. Go somewhere 
and buy them something they may need or need. Will only giving your pastor money get you blessed? If I give to a pastor, is that the only way that I can become blessed? I don't think so. If the person you are giving to is well off or whatever else, give to someone that may really need it. I believe the Bible talks about I believe, widows, orphans, and the people that need help. So why aren't our focus, if this applies to you, why isn't our focus on the needy? Please think about that. Instead of giving your 10%, which I believe that if you go back to the law, I believe tithing, I believe they had to pay more than 10%. I think close to 30% or a bit more, I believe. So I believe tithing is not taught right. But if you're going to give 10% of your income to church, take 5% or something or the whole 10% or maybe more to someone that actually needs it. Huh? Like me. I stopped giving to a church. I believe there are too many churches out there anyway. And I think that is one of the reasons why much false teaching is taught. Because I think there are people that are teaching that maybe should not be teaching. I'm not saying I give to everyone, but I give, I believe I give, or try to give in some cases, money to people who I think that need it. Because what's the sense of me giving to a person that is getting 5,000 a month or 10,000 a month and have a huge house and many cars and let me focus on people that aren't really eating much or looking really skinny as if that person hasn't eaten in a while. Let me focus on those type of people. Yes, I don't want people to take my money and buy alcohol, cigarettes and mess like that. But let me try to focus on them other than just focusing on the church. Now, I can see if your church has like a thing to where they go out and give to people in need. Good. But if your church isn't doing that, man, just take your money. I think you should take your money and give to people in need. There is nothing wrong with giving to your pastor. I am not saying that. But I think you should focus more on people that are in need. What's the sense of me having, let's say, uh, $100,000, keeping it in my bank, only giving to my pastor when, or if I walk past so many people with holes in their clothes and 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 sick and stuff and man let me stop here god bless you